in this video let's start looking at every condition in part for the stationary time series so we start with stationarity in mean why is this a requirement suppose we want to build this time series regression model a linear regression model between between sales across time and the inventory in our company at cross time now over here we draw both processes and we have a look if whether they are stationary or not or not and whether we can build this relationship so suppose the green line stays for the sales across time and we can see it evolves around a certain value let's call that value as in the previous video ten thousand dollars worth of sales on average so that's going to be our 10k now when it comes to the inventory it is this line over here and what we can see it is not stationary around a certain value it goes up it does not evolve around a certain value now let's see why this is going to be a problem because one assumption to build this relationship this OLS relationship between them is going to be to have both variables stationary in means so this applies not just to the dependent variables but both both variables dependent and independent both variables so watch this for instance we take this part over here what do we notice as a relationship between the green line and the other line so sales is usually is usually bigger than the inventory values so give let's give some numbers let's say for instance this is the time uh, and, and let's put it in years because it's going to be easier to you know to reason let's say this is year 2013 in year 2013 for instance uh, let's say that inventory had a value of 5,000, whereas sales had a value of almost 10,000. Now in the year 2014, one year later over here, we can see that it's a similar pattern. Around 5,000, around 10,000 for sales. We go to year 2015, again, it's a relationship where sales is higher than the inventory almost by a double amount. So long story short, what we could do here, we could we could derive a relationship between sales and inventory on this time range where sales is on average two times more than the value of inventory so for a given period of time sales usually is two times larger than inventory now let's see what happens in the other time in the other time frame over here over here the the roles change inventory this line has higher values than the sales let's say we're in year 2000 i don't know 19 for instance Let's say this is two year, 2019 and for instance in 2019 the sales would have a value of around $10,000 whereas the inventory would have a value for instance of $20,000 that would be 20k. We go a bit in 2020 one year later same pattern sales and inventory it's almost half of it. We go one year later a similar pattern the, the, the yellow dot on the green line represents the sale the yellow dot on the other line represents the inventory inventory is higher if we would estimate an average an average relationship between them over here sales across time would be almost a half one over two from the values of the inventory so notice what happens the relationship changes across time the sale is twice as much for a for a certain time period and after that is half of it for another time period in the all less regression line we must have a constant slope coefficient the relationship from inventory on sales must to be constant across time and we do not have it over here we just proved it with this example so that's why the stationary in mean assumption must hold because when the stationary mean assumption holds then we can design the slope coefficient with a certain value when it does not hold like in this case then this regression line cannot be estimated so our OLS estimate is going to be invalid that's the idea in the next video we'll use a similar example to see why we must have stationary invariance